close your eyes and play what someone once called the concentration game. See how long you can stay with the breath. Have a sense of the breath coming in, going out, and then in again, out again. And try not to think of anything else. If other thoughts do come up, you don't have to follow them. You don't have to get involved. Focus on what you're doing right now, as opposed to what just happens to appear. And what you're doing is you're trying to stay with the breath. This is how you make your life a good life, is by making up your mind you're going to do something good and then sticking with it. Today's the last day of the old year, and a lot of everyone's thoughts have to do with the new year coming up. But we forget, we still have this one day left over in this year. We can make this a good day, and, and, and so in doing we can make it a good year. So focus on what you're doing right now. Because every year is made up of individual days, every day is made up of individual moments. And so the moments when you do something good, when you're being generous, when you're observing the precepts, when developing thoughts of goodwill, meditating, getting the mind to settle down. These make it a good moment. And as the moments add up, they become good days, and as the days add up, they become good years. So if you're looking for happiness, you have to look at the causes. It's the same as when you're wishing goodwill for someone. You're not saying, may you be happy doing whatever you're doing. You know that that person is going to be happy only if he or she creates the causes for happiness. So your wish is, may you create the causes for happiness. And in some cases that means people will have to change what they're doing. But that's what goodwill is all about, if it's wise. You think about causes. For most of the world, happiness is something that comes floating by. You work and you work and you work at, your, at gaining this, gaining that, and sometimes it makes you happy and sometimes it doesn't. There seems to be no rhyme or reason. Some people are rich and miserable, other people are poor but happy. So wealth doesn't make, it, make you happy necessarily. Power doesn't necessarily make you happy. Beauty, long life doesn't necessarily make you happy. It's the goodness of your intentions right now. Those can make you happy. When you look at your mind and you realize you don't wish ill to anybody. You wish that all beings be happy. You wish that you yourself understand the causes for happiness and act on them. It's in that way that true happiness is found. It's something that we can give rise to through our skillful intentions, and it's simply a matter of learning what intentions are skillful and which ones are not. If an unskillful intention comes up, one that's going to cause any harm, if you act on it, then you don't do it. If a skillful intention, one that won't cause any harm, you go ahead and try. You may find out, though, that it wasn't quite as skillful as you thought. Well, you learn lessons from your mistakes and keep on trying to be as skillful as you can. It's in this way that you find true happiness. The happy moments add up to happy days, the happy days add up to happy years. To so make sure that this day is a good day. The future will take care of itself. But if you make this a good day, they heads you in the right direction. So the future itself will be more and more likely to be happy as you develop more skills right here, right now.